hello welcome to this tutorial it's set and in this video we'll be looking at types of set so we start with finite and infinite sets a set is called a finite set if all its elements can be listed so if we can list all the elements contained in the set or it has a finite number of elements we said that set is a finite set otherwise it is called an infinite set if we cannot list all the elements that are contained in a particular set that type of set is called an infinite set so we take some uh, examples we have set A, which is set of 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So this is a finite set. We have a set B, to be set of 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. This dot 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 means the list continues. So this is an example of infinite sets. You can say these are positive even numbers and uh, we continue the list is endless now which of the following are finite and infinite sets a p is set of x such that three less than x less than or equal to eight where x is an integer an integer is a positive or negative whole number including zero so from here now we can list the element which means x is greater than 3 but less than or equal to 8 so we are going to have it as 4 5 6 7 and 8 so since we are able to list all the element of p p is a finite set now for q it is set of y such that y is less than zero um if we take it as an integer it means it's going to start from negative infinity up till negative one we'll write it as dot 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 negative four negative three negative two and negative one so the rest continues up till infinity this is an infinite set so here for c um r is set of real numbers uh the set of real numbers oh god is an endless we start from negative infinity up till positive infinity so listing the element we can have it as dot 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 comma negative one zero one dot 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 up till infinity this is definitely an infinite set so we go to the next concept an empty set a set is said to be an empty set or null set when it does not contain any elements the set does not contain any element we say that set is an empty set this is written as a is equal to an empty curly bracket or phi it means this is an empty set now we look at uh, equal sets Two sets A and B are said to be equal if the elements of A are the same as elements of B. So we give some examples here. So in this example, A is set of A and D, and B is set of D A N. If you look at it now, there is A here, there is A here, there is N here, there is N here, there is D, there is D. Therefore, A is equal to B. A is equal to B. So A and B are equal sets. If we have any element here that is not here, 
in that case a is not equal to b so we now say a is not equal to b so we go to singleton sets if a set contains only one element it is called singleton set so like from here we have some examples t is equal to set of zero the element here is zero so t is singleton as g is set of an empty set that is phi so g is singleton y is set of i so which means i set y is singleton so and so on and so forth so we look at uh, subsets and super set here we take the definition given sets a and b if every element of a is an element of b then a is said to be a subset of b so like um, the one we just did equal set all the elements in a are contained in b we can also set apart from being uh, equal we can also say they are subset because if all the elements in a are also all the elements in b we conclude they are subset of uh, each other if there is at least an element of b this is the restriction which is not an element of a in that case they are not more equal then a is a proper subset of b okay and b is a superset of a that's just it which means b is greater than a that's it b is if you want to look at it from a uh, inequality uh, aspect of mathematics say b is greater than a so let's look at the symbolical representation of all these superset subset and proper subset um, we write a is a subset of b okay this is less than or equal to a is a subset of b that's uh, a is a subset of b and a is a proper subset of b this is the symbol and b is superset of uh, a this is the symbol so we look at some examples here given the set a which is broad b r o t h e and b is set of order o t h e r then b is uh, a subset of a that's a a proper subset of a since b is a proper subset of a because all the elements in b are in a but there is b which is in a that is not in b so b is a proper subset of a and a is a superset of a uh, b so we go to uh, power set for power set the collection of all the subset of a set a is called the power set of a and uh, if a has n elements the number of subset of a is 2 raised to power n if there are three elements 2 raised to power 3 which is 8 if there are five element 2 raised to power 5 which will give us a uh, 32 and so on the power set of a is denoted by p of a and it should be noted that empty set is a subset of any set and every set is a subset of itself so we take some examples here given set a is set of i o u and then the power set of a we'll take it one one this is a uh, one o u so each of these is a single thing we will now pick two two that's a uh, i o and i u then o u you can say u o then the empty sets and the set itself these are the power set of a and if we count now since they are three we are meant to have eight because two raised to power three is eight so we count one two three four five 
six seven eight so the cardinality of p of a is eight we write it as n of p of a is equal to eight so we go further uh universal set and complement of a set a set which contains all possible elements under consideration is called universal set it is denoted by e or u for example if we consider all the countries in africa we may take it as a universal set we then write e instead of x so that x is a country in africa so we go further given that a is a non-empty set we have another set a containing some elements uh, of the universal set e the element of the universal set there are some elements of the universal set that are not in a then that is uh, if you form a set with those elements it is called the complement of a uh, a this is denoted by a complement or a prime whichever you pick here it represents the set whose elements are contained in the universal set but they are not contained in a so we look at a e to be set of one to seven and the a to be set of one three five six and e is a universal set while a is its subset so a complement here we go to a and look at the element remove it from the universal set so here there is one here i remove the one there is three remove the three there is five remove the five and there is six we remove the six so what is remaining from the universal set after removing set a is the complement of a so we have it as two four seven this is the complement of a a or a prime now we look at the next subtopic which is set operations uh in the set operations we are just going to consider two concepts there and the subsequent video where we'll be solving problems based on set operation which we'll get to learn more on the set operations so we have union of sets it could be union of two sets it could be union of three sets it could be union of more sets so here in our definition we only compare two sets so the union of two sets a and b denoted by a union b is a set which comprises all the elements of a or b or both so we look at a to be set of two four six eight nine and b to be set of three five two then a union b is to bring together all the elements of a and b without repetition so there is two here there is two here we pick only one two and uh, four we pick four and uh, six we pick six uh c8 we pick uh, eight nine we pick uh, nine and uh, we have not picked three so we pick uh, three finally five we pick uh, five that is a union b bringing the elements of a and u together without repeating any element so we go to intersection of a set the intersection of two sets a and b denoted by a intersection b is a set which comprises only the elements that are found in both a and b so we look at some examples here if a is a set of 
two four six eight nine and b is a set of three eight two seven nine then a intersection b will be set of there is two here so there is eight here uh, there is nine here four six none so the element of a intersection b will be two eight and nine these are the elements of a intersection b the elements that are common to both a and b and uh, we have done justice to this uh, tutorial uh, we are stopping here in our next video we'll be looking combining all these to solve problems involving sets until we come your way again goodbye